Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Microsoft Dynamics NAV Development Training. This is Tapriz and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can export your NAV application objects to your local computer and upload it to the repository. I will not cover a repository part in this video. But let's understand why exportation of NAV objects is very important. Because most of the time in an organization, more than one developer are working on the same projects and they are doing some frequently changes in the nav application objects sometimes the client needs few new features to add into their nav application so the developer do a lot of things in nav application and deploy the changes to the production so the client can use it but after a few days client come back and say to the organization people please revert the changes because i do not want this changing anymore because our business is changed again so in that scenario if you did not take a backup or export your nav application objects to a repository then you are not able to do this revert process very quickly this will take a lot of time so if you are a nav developer always take a backup so always export the nav objects after you do any changes in that particular objects so in upcoming videos i will cover the following listed topics so you can understand the different way of exporting and the importing the application object using out of the box powershell or cal code so this video I will show you how you can use out of the box feature of Dynamics nav to export your nav objects this is a very simple step in first step you have to select your object then go to files choose export give a file name choose the select type and then click on save that's it this is very easy so let's see this in action so first Go to apps and then look for dynamic snap development environment. Open your development environment. Then choose your object. Let's suppose I want to choose the table object. So choose one object at a time. And if you want a multiple object in a single file, then you can press shift and choose all the files that you want to export it so after choosing the object go to file then click on export go to your file folder location where you want to save the nav objects and give a name to your file and then choose type always choose txt format because when you choose dot fob format then you are not able to compare a newer version of object with the older version of objects so always keep one thing in your mind when you're exporting nav objects to save that particular object as a txt type and then click save when you click on save the object will be exported successfully to that location so let's take a look where the file is stored so here I go in my folder location and I find the exported objects from table 3 to table 7. I can find out by from this here. Yeah. So from table 3 to table 7 all the objects are exported successfully to this particular txt file. So I hope you understand how easy it is to export your nav objects through out of the box. I hope you like this demo. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.